FIFA transitioned from originally being a relatively benign soccer organization, to becoming one of the most corrupt political organizations, with more power than governments. Authoritarian regimes have historically used sports to win favor or sway public opinion, about their unwarranted power and influence over populations. FIFA and soccer became synonymous, using propaganda and this leverage to bring legitimacy to FIFA through people's love for the actual sport. FIFA even lays out word for word in their own documents why hosting in Qatar would be a bad choice for the World Cup yet they succumbed to their own financial indulgence and corruption of powers. The organization couldn't find a single strong positive reason to host the event in this location, still the overwhelming majority of the voters within the organization voted for it. In this instance, a site acquisition team member documents FIFA executives pocketing millions in bribes. The deal being that the committee would vote for Qatar to be the host location. Qatar doesn't have a history as a footballing nation, and they have never qualified for a World Cup previously. There was no infrastructure necessary within the country in order to host this event, everything including the stadiums especially would have to be built from the ground up. There was not enough physical laborers to construct the stadiums. The country and FIFA enticed immigrant workers with promise of good pay and a steady job. Qatar brought millions of people to their country on these unfulfilled claims. The reality is that when these migrant workers arrived, their passports were confiscated, and they were forced to work for little or no pay. Already more than 6,500 workers have been reported dead due to the conditions of event construction. Former UEFA president Michael Platini was arrested by French police in 2022 after a two-year-long investigation into the Qatar World Cup dealings. The corruption revealed by this investigation involved the French government and French president. The French government engaged in negotiations with Qatar officials who subsequently bought up French assets such as PSG during French economic downturn. This was exchange for the French executives to forcibly vote for Qatar. Qatar broadcasting company Al Jazeera offered FIFA $400 million secretly, for broadcasting rights for the 2022 World Cup this happened just weeks before the vote. But they also secretly promised an additional $100 million if Qatar won the vote as an extra incentive. On top of that, the Qatar government offered yet another additional $480 million to the overall deal. This means that FIFA stood to gain at least $890 million if the vote went this way, nearly a billion dollars for naught. Dozens of FIFA executives arrested for fraud, racketeering, and money laundering. More and more scams and instances of corruption within FIFA and amongst their executives are being leaked and revealed all of the time, and it's not going to stop. The giving and receiving of bribes and just one document alone totaled over $150 million, and that's only over the period covered by a single investigation. Eleven of the FIFA officials already pleaded guilty. The truth always gets out eventually, 